Daily Readings, Saturday of the Third Week in Lent From Psalms, Chapter 6 Give ear, O Lord, to my words, understand my cry, hearken to the voice of my prayer, O my King and my God. For to thee will I pray, O Lord, in the morning thou shalt hear my voice. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Grant, we beseech thee, Almighty God, that they who abstain from food to mortify their flesh may fast from sin by following after justice. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. From the prophet Daniel, chapter 13. In those days there was a man who dwelt in Babylon, and his name was Joachim, and he took a wife whose name was Susanna, the daughter of Helchias, a very beautiful woman and one who feared God. For her parents, being just, had instructed their daughter according to the law of Moses. Now Joachim was very rich, and had an orchard near his house. And the Jews resorted to him because he was the most honorable of them all. Now there were two of the ancients of the people appointed judges that year, of whom the Lord said, Iniquity came out from Babylon, from the ancient judges that seemed to govern the people. These men frequented the house of Joachim, and all who had any matters of judgment came to them. And when the people departed away at noon, Susanna went in and walked in her husband's orchard. And the old men saw her going in every day and walking, and they were inflamed with lust towards her. And they perverted their own mind, and turned away their eyes that they might not look unto heaven, nor remember just judgments. And it fell out as they watched a fit day. She went in on a time, as yesterday and the day before, with two maids only, and it was desirous to wash herself in the orchard, for it was hot weather, and there was nobody there, but the two men who hid themselves and were beholding her. So she said to her maids, Bring me oil and washing balls, and shut the doors of the orchard, that I may wash. Now, when the maids were gone, the two elders arose and ran to her and said, Behold, the doors of the orchard are shut, and nobody sees us, and we are in love with thee. Wherefore, consent to us and lie with us. But if thou will not, we will bear witness against thee, that a young man was with thee, and therefore thou didst send away thy maids from thee. Susanna sighed and said, I am straitened on every side, for if I do this, it is death to me, and if I do not do it, I shall not escape your hands. But it is better for me to fall into your hands without doing it, than to sin in the sight of the Lord. With that Susanna cried out with a loud voice, and the elders also cried out against her. And one of them ran to the door of the orchard and opened it. So when the servants of the house heard the cry in the orchard, they rushed in by the back door to see what was the matter. But after the old men had spoken, the servants were greatly ashamed, for never had there been any such word said of Susanna. And on the next day, when the people were come to Joachim, her husband, the two elders also came full of wicked device against Susanna, to put her to death. And they said before the people, Send to Susanna, daughter of Helchias, the wife of Joachim. And presently they sent. And she came with her parents and children and all her acquaintance. Therefore her friends and all her acquaintances wept. But the two elders, rising up in the midst of the people, laid their hands upon her head. And she, weeping, looked up to heaven, for her heart had confidence in the Lord. And the elders said, As we walked in the orchard alone, this woman came in with two maids, and shut the doors of the orchard, sent away the maids from her. Then a young man that was there hid came to her and lay with her. But we that were in the corner of the orchard, seeing this wickedness, ran up to them, and we saw them lie together. And him, indeed, we could not take, because he was stronger than us. And opening the doors, he leapt out. But having taken this woman, we asked who the young man was. But she would not tell us. Of this thing we are witnesses. The multitude believed them as being the elders and the judges of the people, and they condemned her to death. Then Susanna cried out with a loud voice and said, O eternal God, who knowest all things, before they come to pass, thou knowest that they have borne false witness against me, and behold I must die, whereas I have done none of these things which these men have maliciously forged against me. And the Lord heard her voice, and when she was led to be put to death, the Lord raised up the Holy Spirit of a young boy whose name was Daniel, and he cried out with a loud voice, 
I am clear from the blood of this woman. Then all the people turning themselves towards him said, What means this word that thou hast spoken? But he, standing in the midst of them, said, Are ye so foolish, ye children of Israel, that without examination or knowledge of truth you have condemned the daughter of Israel? Return to judgment, for they have borne false witness against her. So all the people turned again in haste. And Daniel said to them, Separate these two far from one another, and I will examine them. So when they were put asunder, one from the other, he called one of them and said to him, O thou that art grown old in evil days, now are thy sins come out, which thou hast committed before, in judging unjust judgments, oppressing the innocent, and letting the guilty to go free. Whereas the Lord saith, The innocent and the just thou shalt not kill. Now then, if thou sawest her, Tell me, under what tree thou sawest them conversing together? He said, Under the mastic tree. And Daniel said, Well, thou hast lied against thy own head. For behold, the angel of the Lord, having received the sentence of him, shall cut thee in two. And having put him aside, he commanded that the other should come. And he said to him, O thou, seed of Chanan, and not of Judah, beauty has deceived thee, and lust has perverted thy heart. Thus did you do to the daughters of Israel, and they fear conversed with you. But a daughter of Judah would not abide your wickedness. Now therefore tell me, under what tree didst thou take them conversing together? And he answered, under the holm tree. And Daniel said to him, Well hast thou also lied against thy own head? For the angel of the Lord waits with a sword to cut thee in two and to destroy you. With that all the assembly cried out with a loud voice, and they blessed God, who saves those who trust in him. And they rose up against the two elders, for Daniel had convicted them of false witness by their own mouth. And they did to them as they had maliciously dealt against their neighbor, and they put them to death, and innocent blood was saved in that day. Thanks be to God. From Psalms chapter 23, For though I should walk in the midst of the shadow of death, I will fear no evils. For thou art with me, O Lord, thy rod and thy staff, they have comforted me. A reading from the Gospel of John chapter 8. At that time, Jesus went to the Mount of Olives, and at daybreak he came again into the temple, and all the people came to him, and sitting down he began to teach them. Now the scribes and Pharisees brought a woman caught in adultery, and setting her in the midst, said to him, Master, this woman has just now been caught in adultery, and in the law Moses commanded us to stone such persons. What therefore dost thou say? Now they were saying this to test him, in order that they might be able to accuse him. But Jesus, stooping down, began to write with his finger on the ground. But when they continued asking him, he raised himself and said to them, let him who is without sin among you be the first to cast a stone at her. And again stooping down, he began to write on the ground. But hearing this, they went away one by one, beginning with the eldest. And Jesus remained alone, and the woman standing in the midst. And Jesus, raising himself, said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned thee? She said, No one, Lord. Then Jesus said, Neither will I condemn thee. Go thy way, and from now on, sin no more. Praise be to thee, O Lord Jesus Christ. Prayer over the people. Let us pray. Bow down your heads before God. O Lord, stretch forth to thy faithful people the right hand of thy heavenly aid, that they may seek thee with their whole hearts and deserve to obtain what they ask. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.